Magandang araw, I'm Jake Avila. In this video, we will learn how to apply L'Hopital's rule to evaluate limits of indeterminate forms. This method generalizes our previous techniques in evaluating limits. In addition, L'Hopital's rule allows us to get the limit of new classes of functions. So let's begin by recalling the process in which we evaluate limits so far. Uh, we start uh, the lecture with our, the following example. Here uh, we recall our previous techniques on how to evaluate limits. Uh, here uh, we try uh, to evaluate uh, the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared minus 16 over x minus 4. Uh, here, uh, we first check uh, the form of uh, this limit. So, for uh, the numerator, we need to check the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared minus 16. Uh, again, this is just a polynomial. So, we just substitute x equal to Four. So we get uh, 4 squared minus 16 or 16 minus 16 so this becomes 0. And then for uh, the denominator we also get the limit as x goes to 4 of x minus 4. So this becomes 4 minus 4 or 0. So uh, from these two calculations uh, this tells us that uh, the required limit that we want is indeterminate of type 0 over 0. So, uh, to evaluate this limit, our goal is to cancel out x minus 4. So, here uh, we do this by uh, factoring out first the numerator. So, here we have x squared minus 16 as uh, we factor it as a difference of two squares. Uh, squares so we have uh, x minus 4 times x plus 4 all over x minus 4 so copy lang in denominator so again since we are getting the limit uh, x here uh, is going to 4 but not reaching 4 so here we can cancel out the term or the factor x minus 4 so this uh, leaves us with the limit as x goes to 4 of x plus 4 so we get uh, 4 plus 4 or 8 so in this example uh, it is easy to evaluate this limit because uh, we are able to factor out uh, the polynomial x squared minus 16 and we can cancel out the factor that makes the limit 0 over 0 however for instance uh, if we try the following uh, example so say we want uh, to evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of ln of cosine x uh, all over x squared. So when we check uh, the form for uh, the numerator, we have the limit as x goes to 0 of uh, ln of cosine x. So this becomes ln of cosine 0. Again, cosine 0 is 1. So this becomes ln 1 or 0. For the denominator, we have uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared. So we have 0 squared or 0. Again, from uh, these two calculations, this tells us that our original limit is indeterminate of type 0 over 0. So, how are we going to evaluate this limit? Uh, well, uh, here uh, we encounter uh, some problems. Uh, first, unlike the uh, previous example, we cannot factor out, say, ln cosine x to cancel out 1x in the denominator. So, here uh, one problem is we cannot factor. Uh, like for example the previous techniques you also have a uh, manipulation of the function or uh, rationalizing the uh, given function 
but here uh, we have ln of cosine x over x squared uh, we do not really know how to rationalize this one so another problem would be uh, it is hard uh, to manipulate to obtain a limit so our question now is uh, how do we evaluate uh, this limit so the answer to this question is uh, our lesson for today. So it's called uh, L'Hopital's uh, Rule. Uh, so let us formally uh, introduce uh, L'Hopital's Rule. So for this one, uh, we let f and g be differentiable functions meaning uh, we can get f prime and g prime uh, on an open interval i except possibly at a and i so ito uh, it means that f prime of a and g prime of a uh, need not exist so furthermore uh, we suppose that uh, g prime of x is non-zero for all x in i not equal to a so what this rule tells us is that if the limit uh, of f of x over g of x as x goes to a is indeterminate of type uh, 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity so dito uh, yung infinity over infinity uh, pwedeng positive or negative infinity then the conclusion of the theorem is uh, the limit of f of x over g of x as x goes to a is just the limit as x goes to a of uh, f prime of x over g prime of x so here uh, it is important to note that we are getting uh, the individual derivatives of f and g so dito uh, we do not apply uh, the quotient rule so for instance hindi natin kailangan ng f over g prime but instead uh, we need the individual derivatives uh, so we can apply this theorem provided uh, that the limit on the right hand side so the limit as x goes to a of f prime over g prime exists so meaning it has a, a real number value or its value is uh, plus or minus infinity so that's L'Hopital's rule so uh, some remarks uh, here uh, you, if you uh, replace x goes to a on this theorem by one-sided limits so say x goes to a from the right or x goes to a from the left uh, L'Hopital's rule still holds or for instance if we replace that by x goes to positive infinity or x goes to negative infinity uh, L'Hopital's rule still holds so uh, here uh, let us meet uh, the man responsible for uh, this rule so nandito ano? Uh, here we have the French mathematician uh, L'Hopital and here uh, we can see his book uh, where he published uh, L'Hopital's rule and also here we can uh, see the first example uh, that he uh, chose to illustrate the rule uh, so let us have uh, some uh, examples uh, to illustrate uh, the theorem so first uh, let us revisit our first example so we have the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared minus 16 all over x minus 4 uh, from our previous calculations we have seen that this is indeterminate of type 0 over 0 so since uh, it is indeterminate of type 0 over 0 uh, L'Hopital's rule now applies so to indicate that we apply uh, L'Hopital's rule we will uh, write an equal sign with an LHR above it so the rule says that the limit of f over g is just the limit of f prime over g prime 
So in this case, we get the limit as x goes to 4 of the derivative of the numerator. So we have the derivative of x squared minus 16 all over uh, the derivative of the denominator. So we have the derivative of x minus 4. So simplifying this one, we have the limit as x goes to 4 so the derivative of x squared is 2x and then the derivative of a constant is 0 all over the derivative of x is 1 minus again the derivative of a constant is 0 so simplifying we have the limit as x goes to 4 of 2x so this uh, uh, this will be uh, 2 times 4 or 8. So, this agrees with uh, our previous calculations. So, ngayon, ang mahalaga, uh, before applying uh, L'Hopital's rule, it is uh, very important to indicate uh, the type of indeterminate form. So, dapat uh, indeterminate of type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity uh, bago mag-apply ng L'Hopital's rule. Pag hindi siya 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, hindi ka pwede mag L'Hopital's rule. Again, uh, it is important to indicate the type of indeterminate form. So that is the first step that you need to uh, check before you apply L'Hopital's rule. Uh, for uh, the next example, so we have example 2. So we get uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of sine 3x all over x. Again, uh, the first step is to check the form of this limit. So we get uh, the limit for the numerator, the limit as x goes to 0 of sine 3x. So we have a uh, sine of 3 times 0 or sine uh, 0. So we get 0. And then for the denominator, we have uh, the limit uh, as x goes to 0 of x which is of course 0. So from uh, these two calculations this tells us that uh, the limit in example 2 is indeterminate of type 0 over 0. So now L'Hopital's rule applies so we have uh, after L'Hopital's rule uh, this limit is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the derivative of the numerator so the derivative of sine 3x uh, all over the derivative of x so for the numerator uh, we apply the chain rule to get the derivative so here uh, the outermost function is sine so we differentiate sine first so the derivative is uh, cosine so we have cosine of whatever is inside it and then again looking at uh, this one the next function is uh, 3x so now the derivative of 3x is of course uh, 3 and then for the denominator the derivative of x is 1 so simplifying we get the limit as x goes to 0 of 3 cosine uh, 3x so evaluating this one so to getting the limit we have a uh, 3 cosine of 3 times 0 or we have a uh, 3 cosine 0 again your cosine 0 is 1 so this one becomes a uh, 3 times 1 or 3 so that is now the value of your limit uh, for the next example, so we have example 3, we are concerned with the following limit. So the limit as x goes to positive infinity uh, of 2x all over uh, 1 minus 2e to the x. 
So just like the previous examples, uh, first we need to check uh, the form. So we have the limit for the numerator, the limit as x goes to positive infinity of 2x. So obviously this is positive infinity. And then for the denominator, we have the limit as x goes to positive infinity of 1 minus 2e to the x. So before we evaluate uh, this limit, let us uh, recall the graph of y equals e to the x. So here's the graph of y equals e to the x. So we can see that as x goes to positive infinity, uh, the graph of this function also goes to positive infinity. So this limit is actually 1 minus positive infinity. So this becomes negative infinity. So from uh, these two calculations, this tells us that our original function or our, our original limit has uh, or is indeterminate of type uh, for the numerator it's positive infinity and for the denominator it is negative infinity. So since we have an indeterminate form of type infinity over infinity, we can now use uh, L'Hopital's rule. So this tells us that we have uh, the limit as x goes to positive infinity of the derivative of 2x uh, all over the derivative of 1 minus 2 e to the x. So getting the derivatives, we have uh, the derivative of 2x is 2. And for the denominator, the derivative of a constant is 0. And then the derivative of the exponential is itself. So we have one, uh, 0 minus 2e to the x. So simplifying, we have uh, the limit as x goes to positive infinity. So canceling out uh, the 2, we have uh, negative 1 over e to the x. Okay? So... As x goes to positive infinity, again, e to the x goes to positive infinity, so this becomes uh, 0. So the value of your limit is 0. Next, let's have uh, example 4. So for this one, we need to get the limit as x goes from the left of 0 of tangent x all over... Uh, x squared so to check the form for the numerator we have uh, the limit as x goes from the left of 0 of tangent x so this is nothing but tangent of 0 or 0 and then for the denominator we have the limit as x goes from the left of 0 of x squared so we have uh, 0 squared or 0 so from uh, these two calculations, this tells us that your limit is indeterminate of type 0 over 0. And so uh, L'Hopital's rule applies. So by the L'Hopital's rules, L'Hopital's rule, this becomes the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of the derivative of tangent x all over the derivative of x squared. So we have uh, the, de uh, the limit as x goes to 0 minus the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x all over the derivative of x squared is 2x. So evaluating the limit, we have uh, secant squared of 0 over uh, 2 times 0 minus. So this becomes... Uh, secant of 0 is uh, 1, so 1 squared, all over uh, 0 minus. So we get 1 over 0 minus or negative infinity. So the value of this limit is negative infinity. So uh, next, let's have uh, example 5. So this example is uh, the limit that uh, we are not able to evaluate using our previous techniques. So this one is the limit as x goes to 0 of ln of cosine x all over x squared. So checking the form first, we have uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of ln of uh, 
cosine x so this is ln of cosine 0 again your cosine 0 is 1 so you have ln 1 or 0 and then for the denominator you have the limit as x goes to 0 of x squared which is 0 squared which is also 0 so from these two calculations this tells us that uh, your original limit is indeterminate of type 0 over 0 and so uh, L'Hopital's rule applies so using uh, L'Hopital's rule this tells us that this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of uh, the derivative of uh, ln of cosine x all over the derivative of uh, x squared so differentiating we have the limit as x goes to 0 so by the chain rule the outermost function first is uh, ln no? so the derivative of ln is uh, 1 over whatever is inside it so we have 1 over uh, cosine x and then next by the chain rule the derivative of uh, the one inside so the derivative of cosine x is negative uh, sine x and then for the denominator we have the derivative of x squared is uh, 2x so simplifying we have uh, the limit so this one the limit as x goes to 0 so we have the limit uh, as x goes to 0 of uh, sine x over cosine x is just tangent x so we have negative tangent x over 2x however uh, when we check again the form of this limit what do we get so the limit as x goes to 0 of the numerator so tangent x this is uh, tangent 0 which is still 0 and then for the denominator we have uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of 2x which is also 0 so from these two calculations this tells us that this limit is again uh, 0 over 0 so what are we going to do now so from this uh, illustration uh, well since this limit is indeterminate of type 0 over 0 uh, there's no stopping us to apply again uh, L'Hopital's rule so applying L'Hopital's rule once more we have the limit as x goes to 0 of uh, the derivative of negative tangent x all over uh, the derivative of 2x so simplifying we have uh, the limit as x goes to 0 so the derivative of negative tangent x is negative and then the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x all over the derivative of 2x is 2 so now uh, when we substitute 0 we have negative secant squared uh, 0 all over 2 or we have a negative uh, 1 squared over 2 or negative 1 half so the value of the limit uh, that we want is negative one half so this uh, example illustrates that uh, we can uh, use uh, L'Hopital's rule more than once given that uh, the limit is still indeterminate of type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity